Award-winning television director David Caffrey was at the Gerwood Gallery on Saturday afternoon. He's backing Hastings' bid to bring a Channel 4 creative hub to the town. Simon Bailey went along to find out more. So we're here in the Gerwood Gallery uh, today for a photo shoot for something rather special and we've met uh, a man that if you're watching the BAFTAs you will have seen. Uh, congratulations David, uh, a, quite an incredible win. Uh, yeah, I'm very unexpected. Uh, so so uh, for people that don't know, uh, tell us what, what it was you did. Uh, I was the director on series four of uh, Peaky Blinders. And the series gets a new director every time, so uh, had, uh, or yeah. m most occasions? Uh, the first series had two directors, did three episodes each, um, and then just because of the size of budget and various location issues, they decided to use one director for all six, yeah. and that's what they've been doing since season two. And so once you'd seen a, a few seasons, was it something you were really excited to get involved with? Oh, very much so, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think you have to offer it up in the respect that the first director and cinematographer, they pretty much set the style of the show. So <clears throat> we were just, uh, this year when I came in with my own team, yeah. we were just kind of trying to uh, carry the carry the baton for them pretty much you know uh, but you've you you've more than carried the baton you've you've gone an extra mile and, and you've got a, a bronze face to to call for it uh, yeah well obviously the bronze face is a very collective one because it was yeah. for best series yeah. so uh but yeah it was a, a terrific thing to to win we couldn't believe it i mean i was just looking at the other shows at the end of the king world and uh line of duty and our own thing Peaky Blinders, so yeah. yeah, we really didn't think we were in with the shot. It had won no prizes before, whereas all the other shows were had sort of well celebrated for all the individual things, but just as a collective, I guess, uh, somebody up there was ticking the Peaky Blinders <laughs> box. And, and so if there's a new director every series, I assume you've got no further involvement, but where do you see it, where do you see it going from here? Well, I know for a fact, because I was chatting to Steve Knight about it on, when we were at the BAFTAs, yeah. he's got a plan to take it right up to the start of uh, World War II, wow. so I think 1939, so, and he's planning to get up to that point in the next three seasons. Fantastic, and, and three seasons have been commissioned with the BBC as well? I don't know if they've been commissioned, I have no idea, but I certainly know that next year is definitely commissioned. Yeah. And again, because I'm like, uh, I guess, Jose Mourinho or something, you just go in, join a winning team and then take <laughs> off and go somewhere else yeah. after. Hopefully join another winning team somewhere else. That's the plan, isn't it? Um, but you're here today at the Gerwood um, yeah. for something special for Hastings. What is that? Uh, Hastings are making a bid for a Channel 4 hub. Mm. Uh, Channel 4 are setting, have proposals to set up hubs in different parts of the UK outside of, obviously, London. Yeah. Um, and Hastings have put in a terrific bid for, uh, for literally, well, there's a second phase it goes to, yeah. but uh, for the, the, the challenge now is to get to phase two. Yeah. We're in phase one. Um, but Hastings is a fantastic cultural hub. To, to set up a, a little location for Channel 4, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I don't think, I think the word hub is a misnomer because it might be quite a big thing, <laughs> employing a lot of people. Um, but it's kind of something that Hastings is tailor-made for. Yeah. Uh, not just for all the creativity things, but all of the people that we can attract mm -hmm. down here will have a brilliant lifestyle, plus they'll be at work. Where my situation is I have to travel the four corners of the earth to come back and pay my taxes in Hastings. But if we had the hub here, not only for the creative people that already exist here, but also for all the tons of young people that are coming out with various creative de degrees. So. And, and that is a fantastic opportunity to, to have a transformation for Hastings, for opportunity. Yeah, I mean, I think Hastings is pretty much bit by bit transforming itself in a very big way, but it would be an immeasurable shift if yeah. Channel 4 came here and had one of these hubs that they're uh, proposing to put together. Um, and for you, uh, obviously, if you work with Channel 4, it then means you're on your doorstep as well. Well, I have, I've had a... Channel 4 have been very good to me because <laughs> the first short film I ever made, yeah. uh, Channel 4 bought it. 
Um, so I paid lots of money, took out big loans, and Channel 4 bought it. They didn't pay off the full loan. Um, but then this, I did another, I won a film competition that was sponsored by Channel 4, and that's what sort of set my career up. It was a thing called, um, oh, it was the Lloyds Bank Channel 4 Film Challenge. That's okay. why I couldn't remember, because it was Lloyds Bank. Long. And uh, <laughs> Lloyds Bank seemed to be leaving Hastings, where hopefully Channel 4 will. Well, we'll come and uh, exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, so, the the key message for for getting this hub down here, what do you think is that is the the key message for the Hastings bid? Um, well, from the bit of research from talking to the team behind the bid, they said there's a massive, massive population, a working class population in Hastings, and a hub down here for all of those working class people who are managing to go to colleges, an opportunity like that would be second to none, and we're certainly a, a town that I think deserves it.